Ever wondered how far you can push macOS applications on Linux? Enter Darlink, the experimental macOS compatibility layer which claims to bring Apple's world to Linux. But here's the catch, it barely supports basic GUI applications. In this video, I'll show you not one, but three macOS apps I've built that run on Darlink, showing you just how far you can stretch this compatibility. And for the daring twist, I'll reveal how OpenGL, yes, OpenGL, works on Darlink if initialized right. Ready to push the limits of macOS on Linux? Let's dive in. Today, I'll be running Darlink through Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL, a virtualized Linux environment that runs on Windows. The cool thing is that with Darlink in WSL, macOS applications can actually run on Windows, which is pretty exciting in itself. Plus, Darlink's install process here is exactly the same as on a native Linux system, like in my case, on Ubuntu for instance. Now I will run Darlink inside Visual Studio Code, so let's close this, and inside Visual Studio Code, go to Terminal, New Terminal, down here it is, write WSL. Now I'm logged in inside Ubuntu, running in WSL, and now let's start the Darlink shell. Perfect, Darlink is running. And now the first app I want to show you is, drumroll please, a calculator. But bear with me, after that disappointing discovery in my previous video that even a basic calculator didn't work on Darlink, I thought, how hard could it be to write a calculator that actually functions? And that's what I did. So I wrote the calculator app in Objective-C with a bit of help from ChatGPT. It is a very simple one. It has about 160 lines of code, which is nothing. It also has a simple background image, which is this one. And here I also have the build instructions. So let's copy that into the Darling terminal, right click to paste and build. Perfect. Here is the Mac OS executable. Now let's run it. And here is the calculator. This is one of the first Mac OS GUI applications that I actually managed to get running on Darling. And hopefully it also works. Three plus nine equals 12. Who would say minus 600? Yeah, so you probably know how a calculator works. Everything I'll show you today is more like a proof of concept. It demonstrates that GUI applications can indeed work on Darling like this calculator app. Now, speaking of tools that may seem simple at the first glance, let's move over to the next app. Next up is a color picker app. I crafted this one using the SDL2 library, a fantastic choice for building interactive graphics applications. While it might look like a simple tool, don't underestimate the tech behind it. SDL2 isn't just for picking colors, it's capable of rendering 2D and 3D games, I even used it to run classic Doom on Darlink in my previous video. However, SDL2 doesn't come with Darlink pre-installed, so I had to build it from source. It's a bit of an endeavor, but it's totally worth it. The code behind the Color Picker app is written in C++, again, very simple, with around 160 lines of code. Here I also have the build command, so let's copy that, paste into the terminal, build it, and let's run it again. And here it is. SDL2 opens up possibilities, hinting at just how much untapped potential Darling might have. Now let's switch gears and check out an app that's truly unexpected. Here we are looking at a rotating cube rendered using OpenGL. This is something you'd not expect from a compatibility layer that struggles with basic GUI support. I was absolutely blown away by how flawlessly OpenGL performs here. In a setup where even a basic calculator struggles, seeing OpenGL work seamlessly on Darlink is incredible. Just to clarify, the OpenGL used here is a wrapper around the Linux version, but for macOS applications this should be irrelevant. Down here you can see the OpenGL version that is used, in my case this is the one from Ubuntu, and also you can see the FPS counter here. I'm getting around 130 FPS, but this is because I'm also recording on the same machine using OBS. Without recording at the same time, I got this one to even 300 and more FPS. If we look at the code behind, this is written in Objective-C and it has about 250 lines of code. Here I also got a bit of help from ChatGPT, especially because I had to deal with shaders here. But overall, the app is really simple. Again, here I have the build command. Let's copy that, paste into Darlink, build, 
and execute. And the cube is rotating again. All apps I've shown you were built for macOS and work on macOS. And only by using Darlink we can run those on Linux and also built on Linux. In my case, Linux is running on Windows, so here macOS applications can also work on Windows. Now I'm still searching for real macOS applications that actually work on Darlink, but with everything I've shown you so far, it seems like broader GUI support might not be so far-fetched after all. If you're curious how to install SDL2 and get classic Doom running on Darlink, check out my previous video, the link should be somewhere up there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you really like my videos, down there is a super thanks, so you can buy me a coffee for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.